Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Mystic Access Podcast for February 9th, 2021. I'm Kim. Hmm, what's missing here? Or, in this case, who's missing here? Well, that would be Chris. Chris is under the weather at the moment. He's been going through some weird illness this week and has just been not himself. And he's voiceless. He does not sound pretty. Y'all do not want to be hearing him on this podcast. Trust me on that. So, I am solo today. And we are going to go through several things. Many of which Chris and I had decided on beforehand. One of which I'm going to let him show you later that we aren't going to talk about, but it led me to something that I want to share with y'all as part of today's episode. First, however, a quick announcement for those of you who enjoy attending our monthly events. First of all, thank you so much for everybody who came to the January event on the Evo 10 player. We had a great big crowd and it was awesome and you guys asked great questions. We do have an announcement on the Evo 10 player. And something that we're going to do to make your enjoyment of it even better. But I'm not going to make that announcement today. So please stay tuned for an important announcement for those of you who are interested and maybe still on the fence. Or perhaps those of you who have just bought your Evos. We're going to have something cool for y'all. Anyone interested in that later on. But I'm not going to announce details of that yet without Chris. Because he needs to get better before we can plan this thing in more detail. So it is in the works between us and Barry. Please stay tuned. For those of you who do have the player and for those of you who are interested, stay tuned to our news page on the website because I will put something there as soon as I know when Chris is better and we get things planned. So a new cool Evo experience will be headed your way fairly soon. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you're interested in our February free event, that will be held on Thursday, February 25th, 2021 at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's our normal class time. And this one was prompted by the fact that Envision America is no longer offering the ID-Mate products. So this was a sad thing for many of us to find out about. I have loved my quest for a couple of years now, and recently my quest died spectacularly. I was especially sad to hear this because now it appears at least, I haven't called them yet to make sure, but it appears at least there is no possible way I can get my quest back in working order because I do believe it is a hardware issue that I cannot fix from here. So as a result of that, We want to have a class on ways to label things, ways to identify things, ways to make things easier to determine what they are and how they work, what they are, instructions, things like that. We did something like this last year, but we want to cover this topic again because especially with the loss of something that had so many options associated with it, so much you could do with the ID products. This is something that we wanted to come back to and revisit. And we have something cool that we want to show you as part of that class that we were not familiar with last year. In fact, we have two things that we can demo for you as part of that class that we did not demo the last time we did a class like this. So while you may find some familiar material in this class, you will definitely find new things even if you have listened to this topic covered by us previously. So we'd love to have you February 25th, 2021, Thursday night. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will send information to our events mailing list for this. So if you are part of that list, no worries. You will get it probably that week or maybe the Friday before. Just depends on when I can get to it because I have a very full plate right now. But absolutely, you will get it at least by that Monday prior to class. So you will receive all the information. If you're not on our events list, you can join it from any page of the Mystic Access website. Please feel free to join us. And we have had some list issues with folks being able to join the list successfully. We're trying to figure out the problem. We think we have now fixed it. So if you do run into any problems, email us. Info at mysticaccess.com. I-N-F-O at M-Y-S-T-I-C-A-C-C-E-S-S dot com. We can help you out. We can get you on the lists of interest to you. Remember, in addition to our events list, we also have a general news list that will tell you all about new products and all sorts of other goodies happening at Mystic Access. So you're welcome to join either or both of those lists. 
We'd love to have you as part of our newsletter community. So that's the announcement for this time. What we want to do today is talk to you about a couple of apps and a really cool add-on if you are an NVDA user. And that's where we're going to start. And since we were just talking about our events, this is actually a really good segue because what we want to talk to you about is the Zoom add-on for NVDA. We hold all our events through Zoom and as part of Mystic Access, Chris and or myself are in Zoom usually every day for one reason or another, every business day. There's always something we're doing. In fact, we even record our podcasts using Zoom. And We use it all the time. It's an indispensable part of our company. We even have our phone system set up through Zoom. (laughs) So we use it all the time. Many of you know that I'm primarily an NVDA user. It's just the screen reader that I tend to prefer. I find it fast, and it's just something that I've used for many, many years. So when I am in an event, and I am teaching an event, I do not want to hear when y'all are coming in and out. I just don't, (laughs) because it's distracting. So what I've been doing is turning my speech off. But recently, I've begun using the NVDA add-on for Zoom, and I have found this to be really, really helpful because I can, in many cases, pick and choose what I want to hear. I'm going to show you how this works. So let me show you how you can find out more information about this NVDA Zoom add-on. I'm going to go into my NVDA preferences, settings, and other options by pressing NVDA in. Remember, the NVDA modifier key can be, depending on how you've configured it, either insert, numpad insert, caps lock, or any of those combinations. NVDA menu. I'm going to down arrow. Preferences submenu P. I'm going to down arrow again. Tools submenu T. And going to tools. View log V. And I'm going to up arrow. Remote submenu E. Reload plugins R. Run com registration fixing tool. R. Create portable copy. C. Manage add-ons. A. This is where we want to go, manage add-ons, and it says A. So when you come into this tools submenu of the NVDA menu, you can press A to immediately get here. I'm going to press enter. Add-ons manager dialog. Installed add-ons list. Acapella T. Now this is my list of currently installed add-ons. So if I tab from the one that I'm currently on, which is acapella. About add-on. Button alt plus A. I can learn about the add-on. Disable add-on button alt plus D. I can disable it. Remove button alt plus R. I can remove it. Get add-ons. Button alt plus G. If I move to the next item with tab, this is where I want to go. Get add-ons. So I'm going to press enter here. Welcome to the NVDA Community Add-ons website. So this is a page that's going to tell us about add-ons and how to install them. So I want to read you some of this material. I'm going to go to the top of the page. Welcome to the NVDA Community. And now I'm going to press H. Welcome to the NVDA Community Add-ons website heading level 1. There is some navigation info up at the top, but I'm not currently going to go through that because I just want to read you this information. So I'm going to begin reading from here. Heading level 1. Welcome to the NVDA Community Add-ons website. Link NVDA is a very flexible and extensible screen reader. NVDA add-ons are additional packages that can be downloaded and installed into your copy of NVDA to enhance existing functionality or add additional features. These add-ons may include additional features and commands that can be used everywhere, enhancing support for a program, or add support for a new braille display or a speech synthesizer. On these pages, you will find add-ons that have been created and publicly reviewed by members of the community. Please note that many of these add-ons are not provided by NV Access, so NV Access cannot be held responsible for these add-ons. To install an add-on, go to the NVDA Tools menu, then select Manage Add-ons. Then select Install. Navigate to the location where you save the downloaded add-on and choose the add-on package you wish to install. Alternatively, if you installed NVDA 2012.3 or later on your computer, using File Manager of your choice, navigate to the location where you stored the add-on, then press Enter on the NVDA add-on file you wish to install. Once you press Open, or press Enter on the add-on file, NVDA will ask if you really wish to install the add-on provided that it is compatible with the NVDA version you are using. As the functionality of add-ons is unrestricted inside NVDA, which in theory could include accessing your personal data or even the entire system if NVDA is an installed copy, it is very important to only install add-ons from sources you trust. Once the add-on is installed, NVDA must be restarted for the add-on to start running. If you want to have your add-on listed on this website, 
So that's information about if you want your own add-on added to the website. So I wanted you to understand what an add-on is. Basically, it increases or it enhances the functionality of a peripheral, for instance, like a Braille display. So that was an example they gave. So it gave some disclaiming text on there, and it also discussed how to install an add-on. I've got this add-on installed already, but let me show you how this works. So I'm going to go back to Tools. NBDA menu. NVA modifier N, down arrow. Preferences submenu P. Down arrow again. Tools submenu D. Enter. View log V. Speech view. Braille viewer. Python. Manage add-ons. A. I down arrow to manage add-ons. I should have just said A, but I didn't. I'm going to press Enter. Welcome to the NBDA Community Add-ons website and third NBDA Add-ons central mailing list. Now, I already have it open, so I really didn't even need to do that. I'm going to Alt-Tab. Add-ons. Add-ons manager dialog. Installed add-ons list. And I'm back to my installed add-ons list because it was already open, so it wasn't going to open for me again. Get add-ons. Button Alt plus G. So I've moved back to get add-ons. Install. Button Alt plus I. There is the install button they were talking about. So you can install an add-on directly from here by going to this tools, add-ons, and then you could press Alt-I from within add-ons, or you could tab to get here to install. Close button Alt plus C. So I pressed tab again. I'm going to close this. Welcome to... And I'm back on the page. But I wanted to show you that you could go to install if you wanted to install an add-on that way, or you can just find your add-on wherever you downloaded it on your computer, press enter on it, and it will install it for you. You just need to follow the instructions. So from here, I'm going to press H. Quick dictionary link heading level one. These are some currently featured NVDA add-ons. So there's one called Quick Dictionary. NumPad Nav Mode link heading level one. There's another one. Zoom Accessibility Enhancements Visited Link Heading Level 1. This is called Zoom Accessibility Enhancements. This is where we want to go. I'm going to down arrow, though. Blank. Posted Sunday, September 6th, 3 hours, 34 minutes, and 39 seconds, 2020. So it tells us that this was posted in September of 2020. Heading Level 1 Link Kill NVDA. And then we're taken to a heading that links us to another page for a different add-on. So I'm going to press Shift-H. Zoom Accessibility Enhancements Visited Link Heading Level 1. I've already visited this page, which, which is why it says Visited Link. I'm going to press Enter. Loading. Loading complete. Zoom. And now I'm going to go to the top of the page with Control Home. Out of List Visited Link NBDA Community Add-on Slash. And now I'm going to press H. Zoom Accessibility Enhancements Heading Level 1. So this just takes us straight down to the Zoom Accessibility Enhancements information. I'm going to down arrow. List with three items. Bullet authors. Muhammad Suleiman. Ilana Benish. So there are the authors. Bullet download. Link stable version. So I can download the stable version of this add-on. Bullet 10 VDA compatibility. 2018.4 to 2020.2. And there is compatibility information for versions. I'm going to down arrow. Out of list, this add-on improves the experience of using Zoom for NVDA users by providing keyboard shortcuts to handle alerts for different events while in a meeting, make the process of remote control much more accessible and smoother, and more. So there's the description of the add-on. Now, here's the cool stuff. If we go down further, heading level 2 keyboard shortcuts for controlling alerts in meetings. You can control various alerts in meetings. So here's an entire list of keyboard shortcuts that will help you with that. If I press H again, Keyboard shortcut for opening add-on dialog heading level 2. There's a keyboard shortcut for opening the add-on dialog. Remote control heading level 2. You can even remote control someone else's NVDA accessibility zoom add-on. So there's cool things you can do here. So in order to open the dialog to set all this stuff up for the zoom accessibility enhancements add-on, you need to press a shortcut, which is NVDA Z. However, you need to do it from within a meeting. So I'm going to go back into my meeting. Zoom meeting. Otherwise, it's going to do who knows what on your keyboard. So I'm going to press NVDA Z. Zoom enhancement settings dialog. OK button. And it put me on the OK button. I'm going to tab. Cancel button. And tab again. Alerts reporting mode. Combo box report all alerts collapsed. So this is alerts reporting mode. It can report all alerts. I'm going to down arrow. Beep for alerts. Beep for alerts. Silence all alerts. Silence all alerts. Custom. Or custom. I'm going to leave this on custom right now, and I'm going to tab. Choose which alerts should be reported. Effective only when custom mode is selected. Grouping. Participant has joined slash left meeting. Host only. Checkbox not checked. 
you can find out a bunch of different information here. If you're a host, you can find out when a participant has joined or left a meeting. So that's very handy for hosts. Participant has joined slash left waiting room checkbox not checked. Audio muted by host checkbox checked. I'm just tabbing and these are just checkboxes. Video stopped by host checkbox checked. Screen sharing started slash stopped by a participant checkbox checked. Recording permission granted slash revoke checkbox checked. All of these are turned on by default. If you don't want them reported, you can turn them off. Public and meeting chat receive checkbox checked. Private and meeting chat receive checkbox checked. In meeting file upload completed checkbox not checked. Host privilege granted slash revoke checkbox not checked. Participant has raised slash lowered hand. Host only checkbox checked. Notice that these apply to only the host, it tells you that. Remote control permission granted slash revoke checkbox checked. I am chat receive checkbox checked. OK button. Cancel button. And we're back to OK and cancel. I'm going to cancel out of here. Zoom. And I'm back in my Zoom meeting. If you want to toggle your status of what is reported quickly, you can use NVDA Shift A. Beep for alerts. Silence all alerts. Custom. Report all alerts. And I'm just pressing it over and over. NVDA Shift A. Beep for alerts. Silence all alerts. Custom. So if you want to customize your alerts, you can do so. If you want to silence them all, you can do so. You can make them beep or you can have them all reported. Now, the other cool thing, however, is if you use NVDA Control 1 through 0, you can change the status of any of these. So I'm just going to press something at random. I'm going to press NVDA Control 5. Reporting screen sharing started slash stopped by participant is off. So it's off right now. I'm going to turn it back on. Reporting screen sharing started slash stopped by participant is on. So I just pressed NVDA Control 5 again. So it's a toggle. That command will turn it on or off. I'm going to press NVDA Control 6. Reporting recording permission granted slash revoke is off. So right now that's off. I'm going to turn that on. Reporting recording permission granted slash revoke is on. I'm going to go back to the one we just did. Reporting screen sharing started slash stopped by participant is off. And turn that off because we don't have that enabled for participants to screen share. So you can move all the way through. Control NVDA 0. Reporting host privilege granted slash revoked is on. I don't want this on. I'm going to turn this off. Reporting host privilege granted slash revoked is off. By pressing NVDA control zero again. Now, there are a few others, and you'll reach those by pressing NVDA shift control and one, for instance. Reporting participant has raised slash lowered hand is off. And I'm going to press NVDA shift control one again to turn this back. Reporting participant has raised slash lowered hand is on on because that I do want on. So you can go through all the keyboard shortcuts available on this page. I certainly will link to it in the show notes for you and you will be able to read all of this information yourself and find out all the shortcuts for whichever ones you want to customize or if you just want to turn everything off you are certainly welcome to do so. So obviously this is free because it's an NVDA add-on and you can just find it, install it, and hopefully it will make your enjoyment of meetings much, much better for you. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you're not an NVDA user, that may have been a little boring and I apologize for that. But if you do use it, if it's a screen reader that you enjoy, I really hope you'll find that to be a very useful experience to be able to enrich your meeting enjoyment. The next thing we want to show you is an iOS app called Smart News. This is a free iOS app, and you can, as the name suggests, read various news stories. But it's got some really cool features that you don't necessarily see in other news apps. I really like this news app. When I am ready for some news time and actually want to know what's going on in the world, oh, although sometimes that can be very scary, then this can be a handy app to utilize for that purpose. So I'm going to unlock my phone. 1057. And I've done so, and I'm going to use Siri. Open Smart News. Tab, select Update Headlines button. Now, the first thing you see... Update, latest news have been retrieved. And it told me latest news has been retrieved. But the first thing you see here... Update Headlines button. ...is Update Headlines. So that's in the top left corner. If I now flick right... Search News, search field. I can search news. If I flick right again... Settings button. 
There's my settings information. Tab selected. Top selected. Tab heading. Then we have tabs along the top. So top means top stories. Tab. Now I bleeped this out, but this is my local news, and it gave the name of my closest city. So that is my local news, which is one of the really cool features of this. If you want to see stuff that's strictly local to you, you can visit this tab. Transfer of power tab. This is the transfer of power tab. Coronavirus tab. I'm just flicking right. Entertain tab. Lifestyle tab. U S tab. Politics tab. Sports tab. World tab. Biz tab. That's biz. Tech tab. Tech. Science tab. Science. Buzz tab. I don't even know what that says. Language, speaking rate, word, characters, cap e, u z z. That's interesting. I don't remember seeing that one before. Social tab. There's social. G M A tab. Now G M A is Good Morning America, and that is one I actually added myself. I'll show you how I did that. So now, if I move from here, Discover tab. There is the Discover tab. I'm going to show you that one as well because. That one allows you to do what's called adding channels, and that is how I got the GMA information on my top list of tabs. I'm gonna right arrow. Now, one p.m., four p.m., seven p.m., thirty-five degrees, twenty-two degrees. Rain starts in fifteen minutes. Local map. High, low. This is weather information. Thirty-five. I can double tap it. Heading. It gives a heading with my city name. I can flick right. Thirty-five. There's my temperature. Degrees. Twenty-two degrees, high, low. So that's my high and my low. Two degrees higher than yesterday. Two degrees higher than yesterday. Five degrees higher than yesterday. Now this is a little confusing. I think what this actually is is for those times that it listed before. Now, thirty-seven degrees. So this is more clear. It's thirty-seven degrees now. Eleven a.m. Six percent. Thirty-four degrees. Twelve. So this is not really how I recommend reading your p.m. But four percent. You know, you've got something here that maybe you can learn a bit from, but this is not definitely how I recommend reading your weather. Return to Siri button. Step back button. There we go. I was looking for my back button. Back button. Smart news. Now, one p.m. Four. So I'm back to this portion that shows weather. So yeah, not my favorite way, but you know, if you want to try it, you're welcome to do so. I'm a photo containing a ticket、right. and a coupon. Tap to see state trends, positivity rates, and more. Last updated. Twenty-one million five hundred twelve thousand twenty-one seven forty-six Pacific Standard Time today. Yes. Now to one p.m. Click left and then flick right again because I'm not sure what that was. Maybe it's an ad. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna flick right. U.S. economy adds forty-nine thousand jobs in January. A grim sign for the jobs recovery. So there is one of the top stories. Half time score goes south for Devils. I'm moving right again. FBI raids home of Capitol riots suspected bullhorn lady. And this must be an ad again or something because it's not reading.、It. Susan Sarandon calls out Biden. Dems oversize of stimulus checks, pulling a bait and switch. So if I flick left again, again I'm not seeing whatever this is. Susan Saran, Southern Charm star Madison Lacroix is no stranger to being involved in several love triangles. See her sexiest photos. So this is just apparently top stories. Man who wore horns in Capitol riot moved to Virginia jail that serves organic food. So you can get an idea of what the top stories are. Let's go to a different tab. Search news, search field, settings, tab, bur- tr- and lifestyle tab. You politics tech sports world tech biz tab tech tech science tab. Let's go to science. Buzz tab. Now I click science.、So、selected science. Selected tab. If I flick、heading. left, it now tells me science is selected. So now I'm going to tap kind of near the middle of the screen. Scientists discover an immense unknown hydrocarbon cycle hiding in the oceans. Scientists have proposed a new particle that is a portal to a fifth dimension. Side effects after your second dose of COVID vaccine may be more intense. Here's why. COVID. People getting infected twice may be far more common than we imagined, doctor says. Archaeologists have unearthed 2,000-year-old mummies with gold tongues at an ancient temple in Egypt. A photo of a rock with a hole in it. And sometimes, because of my settings, I'm seeing photos. Congressional investigators find dangerously high levels of heavy metals in some baby food. Harsh, just cold of the winter on the way for parts of U.S. So let's say I want to read this. I'm going to double tap it. Smart view button. Alex Now, Sosnowski, AccuWeather senior meteorologist. From here, we have two options. We have Smart View. Bye, Alex Sosnowski. Bye. Oops, and I've lost my focus. Harshest cold of the winter on the way for parts of U.S. Heading level so one. So there's the title. Bye, Alex Sosnowski. Accuweather. There's the author. Published February third, two thousand twenty-one, seven fifty-three. There's the published date. Updated two hours ago. There's the update date. Mild weather ahead of the deep freeze may add to the shock value as temps plummet thirty to forty degrees below average, which, as one forecaster put it, can be quite painful for the dead of winter. 
So this is the article itself. But what I want to do. News. Link. List art. Personalities. Link. And banner is move left from the information we saw about the title and author. Logs, link, videos, link. Right now, we're on the website for this news story. Logs, link, back button. However, back button. If I find my back button and then flick right from there. Selected, web, button, one of two. There are two views to see this. There's the web view. Smart, button, two of two. And the smart view. If I double tap smart. Selected, smart, two of two. And now flick right. Share, button. We can share this. AccuWeather.com, link, banner. Landmark. Harshest cold of the winter on the way for parts of U.S. Heading level one. Alex Sosnowski. And. And now it's taken away a lot of the information. So it's kind of like a reader mode. You don't have to read all the stuff near the top of the site. Image. Article. Landmark. A map. The Arctic cold will be the harshest of the season. Keeping in step with. Punk Satani Phil's prediction of six more weeks of winter. Link. So I can just continue to read this article. I'm going to back out of it, though. Back button. Back button. Tab. Selected. Science. Selected. Tab. Heading. And it's put me on the science tab. Let's say, though, that I want... Tech. Biz. Tab. World. Tab. World. I'm going to double tap the world tab. Selected. World. Selected. Tab. Heading. Now, let me show you something interesting here. If I flick right... Biz. Tab. Tech. Tab. Selected. Science. Tab. It still says science is selected, but don't worry about that, because if you tap kind of in the middle of the screen... India clamps down on free speech to fight farmer protests. Tie shelter for disabled stray dogs threatened by pandemic. I can just flick right. World's biggest battery with 1,200 megawatts capacity set to be built in NSW Hunter Valley. Wow. EU diplomat tells Russia ties are at a low over case of Kremlin critic Navalny. U.S. Warship sails near Chinese controlled S. China Sea Islands. Police warn against plans to protest in Singapore over situation in Myanmar. Britain expels Chinese spies posing as journalists. Report. So these are all the things I can see in world. Now, let me actually show you what's on the bottom of the screen. Tab bar. Selected. Home. Tab. One of four. We have four tabs down here. We have the home tab, which is where we are. Local. Tab. Two of four. We have the local tab. Search. Tab. Three of four. Search. Profile. Tab. Four of four. And profile. Before we go into those, though, I want to go back near the top. Tech. Tab. Selected. First, I want to show you local. But so, let me go to the left. Hub. Transfer of Tab. And that was bleeped out, but this is my local C. Selected. And so it is now selected. I'm going to touch the middle of the screen. Careful on the roads. Icing possible overnight. So this is stuff that's local to my area. Nash deputy. Suspect shot during I-95 traffic stop. Highway reopened six hours later. NC mom. Daughter shot violent incident live streamed on Facebook. North Carolinian gains national attention from clothing business. Most of y'all know I'm in North Carolina, so this is not anything new. NC Walgreens to offer COVID-19 vaccine next week. So again, I can click on any of these. Now, there are no actions. Cap N, Cap C, Space, Cap W, A, Alpha. If I up and down arrow, I'm just on letters. Ask a lawyer, workplace issues, and family law. So there's all sorts of things here you can see locally. The final tab at the top that I want to show you. Discover, tab. Is the Discover tab. Selected, Discover, Selected, tab, heading. And now I'm going to flick right. Search for channels, search field. A Double channel tap to edit. is essentially a place where you want to get news. So you can search for your favorite news outlets in here. Then, the other thing you can do instead of searching, though, is to flick right. The intercept, channel, button, black text on a white background, intercept, and add channel. And you can add any of these channels that you want. So here's the intercept. Time, channel, but the conversation, channel, but page three of three, adjustable. Now that's Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust. thing that's currently happening in iOS. It's putting pages kind of stuck in the middle of the screen. New arrivals. Here are some new channels. The 74, channel. Mama's Uncut, Channel, In the Know, Channel, and Lexington Herald Leader, Channel, Metro, Channel, Recommended. Here are recommended channels. The Daily Beast, Channel, The Guardian, Channel, Vox, Channel, Button, USA Today, Channel, The Los Angeles Times, Channel, Reuters, Channel, The Associated Press, Channel, ProPublica, Channel, Button, Huff Post, Channel, Button. So let's say I wanted to add Huff Post. I can double tap. Huff Post, Back Button. And flick right. Huff post. Heading. Add button. There is my add button. If I flick right from here. Huff post. Oath. The destination for news, blogs, and original coverage of U.S. politics, entertainment, style, world news, technology, and comedy. It gives me a little description. Rachel Maddow spots the GOP defense of Donald Trump that could backfire. A person wearing a black suit and posing for a photo in front of a blue background. 
major conservative groups are feeling a state-level push to hamper COVID-19 restrictions. A group of people walking, President John Stewart taunts Trump with own ranting resignation from Actors Union. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's defenders hijack insulting hashtag in the cutest way, a photo containing a flag and an adult. So we've got all these stories here. Let's say I want to add HuffPost. HuffPost. Add button. I'm going back to the add button and I'm going to double tap it. Added. HuffPost. Channel. Added. Button. So I am now back in my channel. HuffPost. Channel. Added. Button. And it tells me that this channel was added. Yahoo News. Channel. Button. Salon. Channel. Button. The Atlantic. Channel. Button. Trending. So here are trending channels. See all. Button. ProPublica. Channel. Button. Maxim. Channel. Button. 538. Channel. Button. Board Panda. Channel. Button. Okay, let's see what Board Panda is all about. I'm going to double panda, tap it. Board Panda. And I'm going to flick right. Board Panda. Board Panda is a leading art, design, and photography community for creative people. So it tells me what it's about. Artist makes comics about everyday life with his cat. 62 pics. Guy saves a girl from a creep by pretending to know her and this situation illustrates a big problem. Artist and her dog team up to recreate famous paintings and have some fun during the pandemic. 161 pics. A photo containing an adult and clothing. And some of these apparently have pics in them, so I'm going to flick left. Art, board, 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 add button. There's your add button if you wanted to add this. Board Panda. Heading. Back button. So there's back all button. kinds of things you can look up in board here. Board Panda. Channel. Button. So I just wanted to show you how channels work. Now. Selected. Buzz. Tab. Here are my tabs up at the top. If I now flick right. Social. Tab. GMA. Tab. HuffPost. Tab. There selected, is discover, HuffPost. Selected. Tab. Heading. And it tells me that Discover is selected when I continue to flick right. So I've selected the Discover tab. So I added GMA from here in Discover. So that's pretty cool. Now, let me go down here to the bottom. Tab bar. Selected. Home. Tab. One of four. This is where we've been. Local. Tab. Two of four. Let's go into the local tab. Smart news. I'm going to move to the top. That's my internet. Now. One. That. A screenshot of a white background. Now. One. PM. Four. There's my weather again. Careful on the roads. Icing possible overnight. And so this is the same stuff that we saw in local up above. Nash deputy. Suspect shot during I-95 traffic stop. Highway real NC mom. Daughter shot in violence. North Carolinian gains national attention from clothing business. So we're in the same essential information that we saw up near the top. So you could do local from here on the bottom, in the bottom list of tabs, or you could do it toward the top. I'm going to... Tab bar. Search. Tab. Three of four. Show you the search tab. Smart news. Two. United States Capitol. FBI raids home of Capitol riots suspected bullhorn lady. Now. Three. Two. One. Trending. Search news. Search field. I flip Double left. Tap to edit. There's the search news edit field. Search field. And that's what you see at the top of this tab. Trending. Heading. Here are trending searches. One. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene. U.S. House votes to strip Republican of key posts. So here's a little time capsule of where we are in the world, y'all. Two. United States Capitol. FBI raids home of Capitol riots suspect. Three. Donald Trump. Donald Trump refuses to give evidence to Congress for his impeachment trial. So what I want to do. Words. Speaking rate. Language. Screen recognition. Headings. Is rotor to headings. Heading not found. Heading not found. And of course that didn't work. I thought I would be able to show you others besides. Trending. Heading. Trending. One. Marjorie Taylor. Heading not found. Now sometimes you can kind of hack it a little bit by going back to the previous heading and flicking right and then trying to go down. But it's not working in this Two, case. Three. So these are trending stories. 15. Tab bar. Local. Tab. So in order to see how many are down here, I'm going down to the bottom, and I'm going to flick left from the bottom tabs. Home. Tab. What? Vertical scroll bar. 37. LeBron James NBA All-Star Game. LeBron James doesn't want an NBA All-Star Game in 2021, and neither does anyone else. <laughs> so here are the trending stories. Vertical scroll bar. So it appears. 37. Vertical scroll bar. Seven pages. 100%. Adjustable. That there are seven Swipe pages up or down with one finger to adjust. Currently that are trending. And there are 37 stories right now. So that's what's in this search tab. You can search or you can read these. Tab bar. Selected. Search. Tab. Three of four. And now I'm going to Profile. go to. Tab. Four of four. Profile. I flicked all the way to the left because sometimes it can be hard to find that top left portion of the screen. So I just flicked a little bit to get to it. Here I am. Profile. At profile. Now, if I flick right. Button. This just says button. 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 Notification. Okay. If you flick left again, it'll say notifications. So these are about your notifications. Button. And here's an unlabeled one. We'll go into those in a second. Sign in to keep your reading history, channels, notification preferences, and other settings. So it says you can sign in to keep this information. But here's the thing. Sign in with Apple. You can sign in with Apple. Sign in with Facebook. Or with Facebook. And that appears to be By it. By signing in, you agree to our terms of service and acknowledge our privacy policy. Link. 
Double tap so to activate embedded read link. That information. Selected inbox button one of two. So then we have two tabs. Recently read button two of two. Including recently. Selected read. recently read two of two. Which I just double tapped. So now I can see that. Latest. See all button. Harshest cold of the winter on the way for parts of U.S. That I just read that article. A four-day working week might be edging closer. Here's why. And that article. Archaeologists have unearthed a 2,000-year-old mummies with gold tongues at an ancient temple in Egypt, a statue of a bear with a yellow object in its mouth. And we saw that article earlier. So it is actually showing me, even though I'm not signed in, the articles I recently read. So this sign-in thing seems very limiting because it's only offering Apple and Facebook <laughs> as options. Now, there is a smart news app for Android, which, according to Chris, who is going to demo this for you today, looks very, very similar to this. I've just installed this today, so I'm a little behind the eight ball here, and I will sign into it on my Android device and let you all know if there are additional ways to sign in through Android that might make this process easier. Signing in may sync up your Android and your iOS accounts if you use it on both. It seems that it should. So now let's flick left. So inbox button one of two. I'm not going to show you the inbox tab. I want to show 11, you. 18 a.m. Static. Lotus Dreamer. Three of three. What North Carolina and Roy are of late. So in by signing in. Button. Button. Profile. To these unlabeled buttons. Button. Notification. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window. Button. Double tap to dismiss pop-up notifications. Heading. So this is the notifications button. The first unlabeled button as you're flicking right. Morning update. 7 a.m. Button. You can turn these on. Midday update. 12 p.m. Button. Evening update. 6 p.m. Button. Night update. 10 p.m. Button. Notification style. Button. And then you have notification style. Notif settings. Settings. Heading. Smart. Allow smart news to access. Heading. Location. While using. Siri and search. Button. Notifications. Banners. Background app. Refresh. Switch button. On. Smart news so settings. So that's what happens. Heading. When I go into notifications. Back, note, Siri and search button. Just kind of want to show you. Set, set, settings. Back button. Settings. Sounds and haptics button. Bluetooth Ooh, on button. Wow. It completely took me into my settings now, which is not what return I wanted. Return to smart news. So, app switcher. Oh, settings. Active. That's why smart I news. Done. Active. Was returned to smart news, but. Smart news. Double tap to dismiss pop up window button. Okay. Profile. I'm going to go back in there really quickly. Double notification. Done. Button. Morning update. 7 a.m. Button off. Right now, that's turned off. So all these appear to be on by default. 4 a.m. Actually. 4.30 a.m. It appears that you can pick. 5 a.m. When you're more. 5.30 a.m. 6 a.m. So it is turned off because off is selected. 5, 4, 30, 4 a.m. Off. Morning update. Off. Button. So morning update appears to have been set to 7 a.m. But I just turned it off. Midday update. 12 p.m. Button. I'll leave that one alone for now. Evening update. 6 p.m. Button. I'm going to turn this one off. Select morning update. Off button. Midday evening update. Off button. So the way I turned it off was I double tapped it. It put me on off by default. And I double tapped that and it brought me back to this screen. Night update. 10 p.m. Button. I'm going to go in here. And you've got all your 9 times again. 9.30 p.m. Selected. 10 p 10 10.30 p.m. See how 10 p.m. Selected. selected? 10 p.m. 10.30. 11 p.m. 11.30 p.m. 12 a.m. 12.30 a.m. 1 a.m. 1.30 a.m. So you've got two, all two, these times. 3.30 three, 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 three a.m. All the way up through 3.30 a.m. for your Selected. 10 p.m. 10.30 p.m. Select night off. Night update. Heading. Off. I'm going to turn it off. Morning update. Off. Button. So the only one I have right now currently is a midday update. Done. Button. So let's go out of here. And I'll Profile. show you the Button. other one. Button. Next to notifications. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window. Double tap to dismiss settings. Heading. Done. Button. General. Heading. Edition. Attachment. PNG. File. United States. Button. This is the United States edition. So, let's say you're in another country. Cancel. Button. Edition. Heading. Japan. Japanese. Selected. United States. English. International. English. Select an edition to read the news impacting that part of the world. Editions contain news in the native language for the country. So, we have international. Select an edition to read the news. Of Japanese and U.S. So, perhaps to get a different perspective of the world, you can change to the international edition. Inter select Japan edition heading cancel button cancel out of here for the moment edition attachment notifications button here is more information on notifications we could go in location there. using device location button it's currently using my device location Twitter not set button Twitter is not set dark mode system default button dark mode is the system default network heading autoplay video ads 
Always button. Background app refresh. Always button. News heading. Edit channels button. There is another way to edit your channels. About heading. In fact, there's the about information. You can find out more about the app. But let's go back. Edit channels button. Tap the red button and to delete. Here. Hold and drag the three lines to reorder. So Top. you can. Local news. Reorder local news button. Draggable. Transfer of power. Actions so available. let's say I didn't care about transfer of power. If I flick up and down here. Delete. Move up. Move down. I can reorder activate, it. Activate. Default. I can activate delete. it. Delete. Or I can delete it. Reorder local local news. Top. The only heading not found. Heading not found. Is top. Top is there whether you like it local or not. Local news. So I've gone back to. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window. Settings. Back button. This back Settings. button. Edit channels. Button. There's my edit channels. About. Heading. And there's about. So let's do one more thing. Help really center. Quick. But write a review. Button. There's the help center. You can write Privacy a review. Privacy policy. Button. But I want to go back Version to eight point twenty six point zero ninety two million two hundred six thousand settings to heading back out of here. First. Double tap to dismiss pop up window button. Yes, I have to dismiss profile. I now want to tab go bar home tab one of four back to home vertical scroll bar. I'm back in discover in the channels list trending and I'm moving to trending and I'm going to flick past these trending channels. See all ProPublica channel button. There's see all. There's ProPublica max five four me, page six channel GameSpot. Salon, cha- 9 to 5 Mac, The Guardian, Channel, Futurism, Channel, Button. So if you're a 9 to 5 Mac reader, that channel's in categories. there. Categories. Essentials. Categories. Then we have categories, which is one of the things I want to show you. In this Discover tab, in addition to your channels, and this is why we're coming back to it because I didn't want to overwhelm you with information, we have other categories next to the channel. Essentials. We have Essentials. News. News. Entertainment. Lifestyle. Health. Sports. Business and finance. Technology. Science. Local. Smart News Specials. Vertical scroll bar. Smart News Specials. So we also have Smart News Specials. So if I want to go back to... Tech, business, sports, health. Health and double tap. Men's health, channel, guide to fitness, weight loss, nutrition and guy wisdom, health, heading. We have different channels within these categories. Men's health, health line, channel. Women's health, channel, wellness changes everything, button. So let's say I want the women's health channel. I can go in here. Women's health, back button. Women's and health, heading. Add button. I can read about women's it. Women's health. Hearst Magazine's digital media. The go-to guide inspiring women to live their lives to the fullest by motivating them to make positive changes. And now I can... Women, add button. Add it. Latest news. Added. Dimmed. Women's health. Channel. Added. Wellness changes everything. Button. And it tells me that it is added. So this is a really cool news app, and it's free. And it really offers a lot of different material, and you can customize it to the way you want to see it. So that's really cool. So if there are a few publications that you read all the time, this could be one way to keep up with articles that those publications are posting. For instance, like GMA or HuffPost or whatever you want to add, you've got lots of options here. And I haven't done a lot of searching in here, but I guarantee you, you'll find a large portion of the publications that you want. So as I said, I've only been playing with this for a couple hours. It really is cool, though. I think you will really enjoy it. Let's get away from the news for a moment. I want to very quickly show you an app that I actually downloaded this morning. Chris is going to show an app in the next podcast, hopefully if he's better by then, that led me to decide to download this app because this is what I've been wanting to see for a while. So for those of us who like pretty music and nature ambiences, this could be a kind of an interesting one. It's not quite what I expected when I downloaded it. I did have to buy a premium version of the app because the free version just was showing me all the different ways I could upgrade and it was annoying. So I did spend 20 bucks and went ahead and got a year subscription to it. Who knows what will happen in accessibility terms in that amount of time. But right now it's pretty cool and I just want to give you a very quick tour. (laughs) Open Music Zen. Music Zen. Your opinion is important to us. So they want me to rate it. Let us know what you think about Music Zen. Share ideas. Button. Not now. Button. I'm going to say not now. Zen Flower Fulfillment. 88%. So this is called the Zen Flower. And every day, when you initially set up the app, it's going to ask you a couple questions like, what primarily do you want to use this app for? Things like that. So I said stress reduction. And it says my Zen Flower now, because I've done some things in here since I have joined it, has been blooming to 88%. So that's pretty cool. So. Zen flower fulfillment, 88%. That's the first thing I see on this screen. Your Zen profile. 
There's my Zen profile. Here's Zen profile. Today's activities. Here's today's activities. Chat button icon. Button. There's a chat button. Your activities are ready. Ink and smoke. Ink and smoke is a game. Game. And it actually tells me that Ink and Smoke is a game. However, I have no idea how to play it. It doesn't appear to be very accessible. Background. Music. Then there's background. Tulip Field in Amsterdam. And music. And Tulip Field in Amsterdam. So you can actually see beautiful graphics in this app as well. Scene. And that is a scene. So background must be music. Or you can set music for the background. Widget. Widget edit. Button. And then you have a widget here that you can edit as well. Quote widget background six underscore medium. Image. A group of white flowers and green leaves on a white surface with black text. Might have been. George Eliot. So it was trying to read me the quote. It is never too late to be what you might have been. There we go. I just flicked right. George Eliot. And there's the George Eliot quote. Recent activities. So here are recent activities that I've done. Audiobook. Audiobook. I attempted to read some audiobooks. Audiobook. Audiobook. Tulip Field in Amsterdam. There's a tulip field in Amsterdam. Let me show you how this works. So I'm going to double tap this. Back button. Button. Back. It begins playing the music. Tulip field in Amsterdam. Rotate your device for full view. And it tells me to rotate my device for full view. So in a second, it's going to give me control of my screen again. Because right now... Rotate your device for close. Button. There we go. (laughs) If I try and flick on the screen, it tells me rotate my device. So there's close. Flower music. There's flower music. Music enabled. Button. Selected. Music enabled. If I double tap that, it turns the music off. Flower music. Selected. Music enabled. Button. Close. Now, obviously, that isn't true. Zero percent. Adjustable. It has Swipe turned up my Ten percent. Off. It's muted my music. So now I can turn my music up. Twenty percent. Thirty percent. Forty percent. Fifty percent. So let's leave my music right there. Pretty cool. Music enabled. Button. And notice now it doesn't say selected. So it was actually muted. 50%. River. So here's the river. Sound enabled. Button. Speaker. 70%. Adjustable. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20%. I can turn the river down. Bird singing. I can turn the bird down. Sound enabled. Button. 100%. Adjustable. 90, 80%. So I'm just turning stuff down here. Wind. Sound enabled. Button. 70%. Adjustable. 80%. 90%. 100%. 100%. And now maybe you can hear the wind blowing a little more. 60%. 50%. 60%. Adjustable. So I assume we're seeing a beautiful tulip field in Amsterdam. Cellular. Two of four bars. Trying to get us back. 11.32. 11.32. Do not disturb. Flower music. Close. Button. Down arrow. Now, the other thing I want to show you. Close. Button. Da- flower music. Selected. Flower music. Music enabled. Button. Is once again, I can tap on flower music, but it doesn't Wind. seem to do anything. It's playing the same music. Orientation locked. So you can't Image. seem to Selected. change the music. Flower music. It's very soothing. Music though. enabled. Button. Like it. Select close, close, button, down so arrow, I'm close, close this, down arrow. Or attempt to. Selected, flower music. Selected, flower music. Music enabled, button. This part can Selected. be tricky. Selected, close, to close like it. off, button, heart. Oh, there's a light button, so I can light this. If Tulip I wish. Field in Amsterdam. There's the title. Back button, button, back. And now I'm going to go back. Back button, back. If it me. Tulip Field in Amsterdam, like off, button, heart, I think close, I have to button, close down arrow, close, down first. arrow. First. To back button, but back button, button, and then back. music zen, zen flower fulfillment, zen flower fulfillment. So now I'm back to my zen, zen flower, flower fulfillment, zen flower fulfillment. And George Eliot. I don't know where my zen flower is. Zen flower full, f- zen flower fulfillment. Oh, today my zen flower me. is blooming. Oh, there we go. And there it says today my zen flower is blooming. Zen flower fulfillment. So it's not telling me right here about today the my status. zen. Fl- it is never too late to be what you might have been. There's George my Eliot. Eliot. Tap to quote. continue. Button. Again. Tap to continue. Button. And I can tap to continue. Tap to continue. Share close so, button. Button. Close. That was share. an activity. That Selected. I previously Story. Button. Done. Feed. Button. Share. 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 So it wants me to share, which I share. 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 Cl- don't really share close button. Do. Button. I'm gonna share. Close this. Zen flower fulfillment. One hundred percent. Zen flower there fulfillment. There we go. And now it says my fulfillment is one hundred percent. Let me show you. There are tabs on the bottom of tab this. Tab bar. Selected. Today. Tab. One of five. The Today tab. Listen, tab, two of five. 
Listen. Relax. Tab, three of five. Play. Tab, four of five. Meditate. Tab, five of five. Let's go into the... Play. Tab, f- relax. Tab, three of five. Relax tab. Summer raindrops. Nature. Nature. So I'm at the top and we have nature. Summer raindrops. Relaxing view of rain falling. Ocean breeze. Aerial view of a tropical beach and blue ocean. Marine life. Cosmic jellyfish and the neon light. So it's telling me what these are. Magnificent autumn. Harmony and calmness. Foggy mountain. Moving clouds and fog among trees. Open space. Rotating earth view from space. So let's click on this one. Rotating earth view from space. And... Open space. Open space. Like you have to click on... Rotating earth. Morning fog. Back button. Open button. Space. Back. Oh. Okay, maybe I'm here now. Back button. Button. Back. Open space. Sometimes your focus... That's crazy. Lotus Dreamer. Stat. App Switcher. Music Zen. Active. App Switcher. Smart News. Active. Swipe In up with three case, fingers to close the app. I was having Actions some really issues, and of course it's because I'm recording, because I haven't had any issues like that prior. I've always been able to get out of it. I'm going to reopen it one more time. Open Music Zen. So it should be re- Zen Flower Fulfillment. 100%. Your Zen Profile. There we go. I want to show you one tab more bar. Relax. thing there Tab, here. play. Tab, four of, meditate. Is... Tab, five okay. of five. Yabara, hakai doki. Yabara. Tab bar. Today, tab. Yabara, hakai, huan, shi. Tab bar. Selected. Meditate. Tab. A lot of the meditations appear to be in Chinese. But if you move far enough to the top. Patience. Daily Zen. Redefine your needs. Healthy eating. Let's go to. Reda- daily. Patience. Daily Zen. Daily Zen. Daily Zen. Patience. Music Zen. Back button. Button. Back. Like off. Button. Heart. Back button, button, back, like off, thumb, dimmed, button, patience, three, fourteen, three, fourteen. So apparently, three, you can fourteen, play patience, this. patience. If I can figure out how to do it, <laughs> thumb, dimmed, button, like off, button, heart, back button, button, back, back button, button. So I'm a little disappointed three, that I fourteen spent this. Oh, maybe three, I pressed here. fourteen. I actually haven't been in this tab prior to the recording, patience. and I don't know how one is supposed to play it. Patience, three. Three, three, patient, thumb, dimmed, button, thumb, dimmed, like off, button, heart, back button, but back button, button, back, three, fourteen. Of course, the app has wonderful ratings from people who three, are using it. Fourteen, three, fourteen, three, fourteen. With everything else, I managed to get everything to play with no problem. And patience, this one, thumb, I dimmed, button, patience. Let me try this one more time. Patience. patience. Maybe I should be patient. Patience. Maybe that's the problem. Unfortunately, I'm not getting these to play. So I don't know what's going on here. I may have to play with this more. If I had it to do over again, I would not have purchased it. But sometimes these things happen. And while I can certainly go to the trouble of attempting to refund my money, I also could have done a trial and found out this stuff in advance. So in some ways, I kind of screwed up. And I don't mind supporting them if they're doing nice work. I'm sure the imagery is very beautiful and all these things. And maybe it's just a $20 less than I learned. I don't know. But I wanted to show you what would happen with a partially accessible app that has some really pretty things in it. I mean, it appears to. It's got some audio books in there as well if you go to the Listen tab. The games don't appear to be very accessible, at least what I've done so far. You get kind of an experience like what we saw with the scenes. So you get music and things like that. But I haven't really figured out a secret to it. But the music's very beautiful, and maybe I'll keep it just for that for a year and go ahead and cancel my subscription so I won't get charged next year. But it's kind of cool to see what's out there, and I've heard of this one before, and I thought, well, I'll check it out, see what it's all about. So I do like the fact that you can change the nature sounds. I wish I'd only spent 10 bucks or 5 bucks instead of 20 but I think that's just going to be my mistake. And it's always good to support developers. So if you know someone else who might like it, particularly if they're sighted and they can enjoy all the beautiful scenes, then this may be something that they would wish to subscribe to. When I did subscribe, for what it's worth, they gave me like a 15-minute timer and said you need to subscribe in this amount of time to get the nineteen ninety nine price. <laughs> so that's why I went ahead and did it. Because normally it said it's like 80 bucks a year, which I was absolutely not going to do for this. So I just wanted to show you that process and what that was all about and just give you a a hint of some more ambient apps that are out there that you could potentially play with. Believe me, based on my search this morning, this is one of the better ones in terms of accessibility. Yikes. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the Kim Solo edition.
of the Mystic Access Podcast. We will certainly be back later in February for another episode. Hopefully my partner in crime will be back with me next time. In the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed today's edition and I wish you a wonderful couple weeks. As always, you're welcome to visit us. We always have cool things going on in Stick Access land and thank you as always for being a listener. We appreciate you very, very much. Have a wonderful day. The preceding podcast is a presentation of Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. If you are blind or visually impaired and desire to discover how our comprehensive products and services may support and empower your assistive technology journey, we welcome your visit at www.mysticaccess.com. Have a question or wish to place an order via phone? Call us at 716-543-3323. If you have something to share about this podcast episode, press 4 to reach our Mystic Access podcast comment line. Email us at info at mysticaccess.com. Connect with us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mysticaccessempower. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? Your friends and colleagues may listen and subscribe at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy our episodes, consider leaving us an iTunes rating and review. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for being a listener. We hope you enjoyed this episode.